So yeah, uh, let's start with an update. Yeah, first update, I got new haircut, you see. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that bad. And uh, okay, let's go. Demon unit icons are now shining. Well, uh, this is not really big thing, but uh, I worked on the system that is uh, on, on, on shaders and system for UI elements so that we can do uh, whatever we want with them and uh, basically let me show you now I need to turn on hex and I need to get some demon hopefully So as you can see a little bit like shining effect and yeah it's not uh, much it's like stupid thing but overall uh, I worked on the whole system for as well as the, the items are also shining and for example uh, if you put uh, this unit in the friendly battle here and he dies or not or whatever happens uh, when you have a lot of units here in inventory and uh, items here, when you come back from uh, from the battle, uh, they are like uh, there is like a little indication that they, they can kind of uh, glow a bit. So uh, that indicates you that uh, like hey, these units were back from the battle, and it's very handy like. And we're gonna use this system for a lot of things here in the inventory, so it was very important thing to do. Okay, more hacks. Whoever knows the code how to activate the hacks, now uh, now have more hacks. Then restart game in options. Here, you can, for example, I'm rank 35 and I have gold and I have this unit, this item and whatever, but if I restart the game, basically the whole game would restart and uh, everything is back to default. And uh, that was also uh, a bit trickier because uh, I, ha I had to uh, I had to work on the save game system and uh, Overall, it's it's like fine now, so uh, we can do this like restart the whole thing. And uh, only thing that is missing is actual actual save, uh, saving. Uh, but that's that that's the thing that we will do probably later. No, definitely later because it's not complex. But if we save the game right now with this. With, with some system and uh, later when we implement a ton of things it would be a problem for, for me to uh, save these, uh, these other things uh, to, to see what, what, what's new, what exists, what do doesn't exist in the save game so the best solution is doing the save game at the not the end of the project but like later <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, new game over screen. Yes, uh, that old one was uh, like very bad. So you can see here. Uh, I'm using the hex. By uh, th this is the weeks now, by the way. But if I uh, aim to twenty, that's it. Game over. Thanks for playing and. Uh, rank score is zero you can restart the game or exit the game so yeah okay uh, no more reputation well uh, the problem 
there was design problem with with this reputation so uh, for example you are getting uh, these uh, units randomly and uh, knight is uh, let's say knight is from the town hall reputation then uh, Orc is from the Church of the Dead and uh, let's say Archer is from uh, Grey Orc Clan and uh, when you like you buy some of these units and uh, basically if you don't have a Church of the Dead uh, reputation at all you won't get Archer at all in the shop and uh, the problem was because you're uh, you're required to build reputation with specific faction or two factions and uh, you you have to plan uh, like what do you need but actually you need uh, all of all of those three units you you need uh, knight you need orc and you need archer and uh, the problem was uh, they are randomly uh, randomly generated here in shop and uh, they are randomly, first of all, they are randomly generated. Uh, second of all, uh, you don't know what units you need when you press uh, ranked. Because basically you need all of, all, all of the units. And what we are doing with this reputation, what we were doing with this reputation is forcing players to choose list to this. This is random and then we are for forcing players to choose what random you want random to, to be and you what what reputation you want to to build to get random units from that reputation but you need all of them actually and uh, it's it's it was the big problem that reputation we want uh, we, we are not sure that we're gonna exclude uh, ex exclude it at all, like the, the, that reputation. But uh, it needs uh, it needs a better design, and uh, we are working on that. We are working on a lot of lot of uh, design uh, stuff, and uh, it's a uh, it's not a mess, but it's a uh, it's a long story. <laughs> So I won't bother you with that right now, and uh, we 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 are planning to improve the game a lot. I mean, improve uh, to add a lot of content here. And uh, <clears throat> reputation was the problem, so for now it's removed, and uh, we'll see about the about the future updates uh, as of reputation. Okay, no, then no rank limit. Well, uh, now as you can see here, uh, weeks are here. We did it like that because uh, here you can see uh, you have 20 weeks and uh, rank e, uh, doesn't have a limit. So there is the challenge uh, that you get gain as much as uh, you can these rank points in 20 weeks and. Uh, this is much better for now. I'm I, I'm saying this is not the final. Uh, this is not the final. Uh, final game design that we that we want. We have uh, f a few ideas. We have a, a lot of ideas, but we need to like uh, stay calm and uh, rethink them, and then b before we implement anything. And uh, yes, we're gonna do a lot of improvements here. For example, now the game is boring, and uh, uh, and uh, we are aware of it because uh, we we have uh, tactics in the game. And uh, what is the tactic? You buy some units, and uh, you enable hex, and then again buy some units, and then you go to rank it. And uh, what is the tactic? Tactic is uh, choosing between these three random uh, battle choices, and then uh, if I choose this one, and then placing, and then deciding what units you want to uh, place here, and uh, the position. 
and that is the game and this is not fun and uh, well, it's fun to, to, to some extent uh, basically for, for someone who, who don't know the game uh, didn't uh, learn how, how, how the game works how the why is the archer against uh, who is the archer good or knight or whatever when you learn that the game gets really boring because that's that's the current design and uh, we're gonna change a lot of things uh, like really re really fast but uh, very soon actually and uh, let's go next no rank limit, uh, no rank limit. Uh, quest don't cost uh, cost weeks anymore yes uh, the quests are now they exist but uh, they don't cost weeks anymore. We have uh, plans. We we had plans to implement uh, implement some some kind of uh, events. For example, something happened and it pops pops up, and you have to decide uh, what you want uh, what to do. And that would affect your reputation, and that would affect uh, what what units in shop is uh, uh, generating and and. Uh, or and e items too but we stopped doing that i almost finished uh, it's here in the project but it's disabled and uh, because we have to solve this uh, solve these problems and uh, see what do we want to do with the game and uh, yeah okay uh, so yeah uh, quests are now kind of like Quest. If you wanna do it, do it. If you if don't, don't. And that's it. Uh, new battle selection screen. Weeks ranking gold are now visible always. Yeah, this was a problem. If you press here, uh, now weeks gold and rank is always visible. And these are small, smaller. They are uh, redesigned, as you can see here. This is the number of points you're you're allowed to use, and then how many points you will you will get, uh, how many rank points, uh, how how much gold, and lose, and and we figured out that uh, permanent death of, of friendly friendly battle information could be inside the button, and it's like much better, and it. Uh, saved us a, a, a lot of space here so yeah this is the new thing um, indicator when yeah when units are, are back from the inventory and then rebalancing borg has reduced stamina and dodge starting points is reduced by half yeah borg was really overpowered um, Priest heal cooldown reduced by 20% and cooldown now depends on the intelligence instead of just uh, agility. Uh, and priest shield health uh, increased by 5 per 1 intelligence points and uh, starting cooldown reduced by 15%. Well, uh, I did that because the priest is like useless, totally useless unit. I you can go through the whole game and never use the priest and win everything because priest is like nothing so i buffed uh, the priest and he's he's good now uh berserker stamina cost for all abilities is now much higher well berserker was overpowered and now uh the part of it because he was overpowered is uh, is because uh, uh, he didn't use the stamina at all. For example, uh, mage, uh, mage, uh, unstable fire bolt uh, stamina cost is 540, and uh, orc melee attack was 30. Stamina cost was 30 for orc melee attack, and this is like hilarious. <laughs> when I saw that, uh, now now orc is is more like. It's it's realistic. If he hits uh, with the axe, then he kicks, then he punches two or three times. That's it. He 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 lost stamina, and that makes sense. 
so now the orc is not that powerful and the, the pyromancer minimum execution speed is set to the 0.8 seconds it was 1.6 previously the problem was that she in the most battles did not sh uh, did not shoot even look at what I did not did not shoot even had the time to shoot <laughs> firebolt once that's professional English well um, the pyromancer problem was she has the four no three three item slots and uh, you cannot reduce the the execution speed and now you you can if you put some items on on her you can reduce the the execution speed so i can show you actually so yeah uh, it's 1.6 and the base was 2.2 and minimum is 0.8 so if i get this and this it's gonna oh this is a bug yeah I need to round this number Oof. <laughs> look at this okay I need to fix this okay not not right now but okay uh, uh, Pyromancer Firebolt Explosion has a bit less force when pushing the enemies. Yeah, that was a problem. Work by damage per strength this decreased by 40% and stamina cost increased by 50%. Floating point values. <laughs> yeah. And that is it for the updates.